Hey guys, Nick, aka the one only Crisis YT, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a stream overlay for Twitch.tv or YouTube, whichever one you want. This will include a face cam, and it will also have a banner that includes your social networks, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. First off, we need to go File, File, New, and then we need to go to Preset, Film and Video, Size, HDV, slash HDTV, 720p. Click that, hit OK. Ignore this, don't look at it. File new again, okay? This is important. File new, and then again, film and video, and again, HDV, HDTV 720p. Except this time, we're going to change the height from 720 to 35. Hit enter. Now, this is going to be your banner, okay? So you need to choose what color you want this banner to be. Here, I am going to choose blue. You could choose green, orange, black, white, whatever you want to, but just color fill it by simply hitting this bucket here, color fill it, and then go up here to select, select the whole entire image, hit control C, jump over here, hit control V, and that's going to copy and then paste it over here in this image, and then hit control T, and then we need to just move it up to the top, right there, enter, and I'm actually going to make sure, yeah, there we go. All right, so now we have our banner in place, but we still have this pesky white background here that uh, we can't have if we want to use this in a live stream because you won't be able to see anything. So let's go over here to the background, double click on the background, hit OK, and then right click on layer zero now. It is no longer called the background. Right click on it, delete layer, yes. Now with that, we can now perfectly use this in live streams with gameplay behind it, your face behind it, whatever, all day, every day, no problem. Let's go ahead and add the name of our social networks. I am going to um, I'm going to use white font here. You can use obviously whatever font you want. A lot of this, especially with colors and fonts and things like that, is uh, obviously completely up to you and whatever you want to do, whatever you think looks best. So don't you know? Don't think you have to use this exact font. If you do want to know what font I am using, it is Babus. B E B E B A S N E U E. It's Babus Nuo. Sorry, I was trying to think of how to spell it, and then I realized I could just look to my right and be able to see it because it's right. It's right there. And um, yeah, so now let's go ahead and line these up. I'm not going to take a ton of time here, guys, to uh, to you know line this up and make it absolutely perfect. Obviously, if you're going to use this in your stream, you probably need to. But uh, since I have no plans of, of ever using this, and I'm just simply doing it for tutorial purposes, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to make it perfect, though, you can just take this ruler and then put it right there and make sure everything lines up on that line, which it actually looks like it pretty much does. So, go me! Alright, now let's go ahead and get our Twitter, Facebook, YouTube logos in here. Now, I simply went on Google and Googled... Um, Twitter logo, Facebook logo, YouTube logo, and then pick the ones that I like the best. So here we go. Um, simply select the whole entire image, control C, and then drop it over here with control V. Now, we have a little bit of a problem with our Facebook and Twitter logos. They have white backgrounds. They can't have white backgrounds. What do we do? Well, it's simple. Go over here to your eraser. Yours is probably going to look like that, but right click on it. Click Magic Eraser Tool, and then click this white background, and boom, it's gone. Do the same thing for your Twitter bird. Boom, it's gone, and now we can simply hit the Select Tool, select the whole image, and then again, Control-C, Control-V. Do the same thing with the Facebook logo. Control-C, and then last but not least, Control-V. Now, there we have it. We can just Control-T. Sorry about all the controls, guys, but that's just how I use Photoshop, and, and that's how I'm doing this tutorial. But if you hit Control-T, you'll be able to resize this image, hold Shift, and make sure you go from this corner or this corner down and or up, and that will make it bigger or smaller while maintaining the aspect ratio and quality as best as possible. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it for right now, and then I can make it look better here in a second. So there's that, and then last but not least, this huge YouTube logo needs to be scaled down majorly. And there we go. Alright, so now let's zoom in on this. And you're going to see this looks really, really pixelated, but you have to think, right now I'm at 400% zoom. So the only reason it looks pixelated is because it's blown up like crazy. Um, let's go ahead and do that, and now it needs to be moved over a few pixels. And see, that looks really pixelated, but when we zoom out, you'll notice that uh, it's not pixelated whatsoever. 
All right, so now let's go ahead and jump over here to the Facebook like button. Oh, I'm sorry, not the Facebook like button, the Twitter bird. And we'll scale that down. Go up and over. Bam, there we have that. And then last but, sorry, my dock's kind of getting in the way right now. Last but not least, we do have the Facebook logo, which needs to actually be made a bit bigger. There's that. We'll move it over using the arrow keys. And... Boom, there we have it. So now we have basically all of our social networks in the banner complete. Now we have a lot of space over here, and what I'm going to do to fill that space just really, really quick here is um, I'm going to have to turn down my 40-point font down to about 35 and go to Brush Script SDT. It's my cursive script that I always like to use. And I'm going to put my slogan, the one and only, because that's what I've used since I started YouTube. I can actually make it, I think, a bit bigger. Um, yeah, there we go, and yeah, I think that looks good, I think that looks at least decent, and boom, there you go. Now we're going to go ahead and make your face cam outline, and we're going to put it right here, and this will be using a 480p square face cam, but the concept is the same with 720p, you just have to change the aspect ratio. Again, we're going to go file, new, except this time, we are going to go to film and video, but we're not going to choose HD. We're going to go to NTSC DV, and that is going to be 480p. Hit OK, and boom. Here you go. This is it. This is the final product, if you will. Uh, this is what you're going to be seeing. We need to go down here, and we need to create a new layer. Double-click on the background again. Hit OK, and then delete layer 0. And that is going to allow us to have this black, or this uh, checkerboard background like we want. Now we need to go to the pencil tool, and we're going to make some straight lines. If I can find the pencil tool, there it is. And uh, I like to make this the same color as my background here, but it is 100% up to you. I think it looks best if it is the same color, though. That being said, we're going to use the pencil tool again. I like to use about 10, uh, but you can use more. We'll actually use 15 for this. Uh, all we're going to be doing here is making an outline. So what we want to do is zoom in uh, quite a bit because this can get a little bit tricky here. And we're going to click right there, and then we're going to come down here, shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click. We can do this in one big swipe, just hold on. Okay, so we want to shift click here, go down to the very, 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 very bottom, and shift click there. See, perfectly straight line. We now want to repeat the same thing at the very bottom. I actually have to fill that, there we go. Shift click here go over do the complete other corner and then shift click right here do the same thing on this side shift click here all the way up to the top and we get to shift click there and then one more time shift click right here you're probably sick and tired of hearing me saying it but at least you'll know how to do it and shift click again right there and there's our outline now we simply want to do the thing we've done with every other thing we've used and click the select tool, select it like that, drag it from corner to corner, control C, come over here, control V, there you go. You have a face cam outline. We need, obviously need to make this smaller, and again, another command, control T, hold shift, drag it in like this, and about that big is, is about right. You can make it as big as small as you want. That right there looks good to me, but again, it is all personal preference. Now, let's go ahead and put our name right here. In my case, it'll be Crisis, and I do want to use that cursive font. I'm going to make it a bit bigger to about, I don't know, about right there, and 46 font, I guess. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to right-click on it, Blending Options, and then I'm going to do Stroke Overlay, and how's that look? That looks pretty good to me. So there you guys have it. That is how you can make your own streaming overlay outline. Um, the YouTube logo actually doesn't look that good, but you obviously don't have to use that one. Just Google YouTube logo and see what comes up and uh, pick the one you like the best. Nevertheless, guys, again, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and save this real quick. File, save as. You do need to save it as a PNG so it will work with OBS and XSplit. And we'll just add name this stream overlay. Boom. I am. There's a, two links in the description to ways you can use this 
specific overlay. You can use it for Minecraft recording and live streaming, and both are included in the description down below, as well as the outro of this video. So nevertheless, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, all that awesome stuff. I'm CrisisYT, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here are two videos that will help you live stream and record with the overlay that you just made. On the left is how to stream with the Elgato Game Capture HD. In that video, I do exactly that. Teach you how to stream with the Elgato. And on the right, I teach you guys how to record Minecraft using a streaming software. So you can just take what you learned in that video and apply it to streaming and boom, you're good. Nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Did this tutorial help you, help you? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm Crisis YT, and I'm out, guys. Peace.